It found in behind an Arkansas Walmart. Okay. I probably did not hear this. I don't know anything no. about Arkansas. Wait, wait, what do you mean an Arkansas Walmart? Yeah. They didn't find a body. But <laughs> they right. actually did. Oh, no, no, no. It's they not didn't. a body that no. you're thinking of. Oh, okay. What happened? They found a huge giant. It's a called huge giant. A huge well, actually, okay, that that's kind of a uh, kind of dumb. Let's just say a giant lace wig. You know what a giant lace wing is? No. It's a pre basically a prehistoric uh, dragonfly. It looks like a dragonfly, and these were actually around Son of a in bitch. the prehistoric era with around with dinosaurs. Now they're massive. Like the wingspan on them are about six inches like long. Like they're massive. It's a massive dra dragonfly. I posted the link in the chat. They're, they're super rare, super, super rare. Really? But it just goes back to the thing that we were talking about uh, oh, sure. earlier. Ed Edgar and James, all sorts of cool. That, oh, yeah. that's so cool. Right. With the with the mammoth thing that we're talking about. That oh, is cool. Yeah, that, that's a nice see cool it part. Yeah. It's, yeah. But having the, having the whole prehistoric bug thing, but we were talking about the mammoth, how they're bringing the mammoths back. Oh, fuck, with, yeah. With uh, the genetic, if you oh, we were this? talking about this this right. morning, right? Apparently, they're bringing the woolly mammoth back. Right, you can just look this up. This is actually a really cool concept. How they found like all the in the permafrost over in Siberia, they found all these with woolly mammoths and saber tigers, all this great stuff that's like preserved out there. And what what they're doing now is they're they're bringing back the woolly mammoths. And what they're doing is because they don't have a, an intact DNA structure, right? Yeah, you were saying that, right? They've been in the They've permafrost got, uh, for twenty thousand years. They got 10, a, years. They got a little piece of DNA. Right. They got a little the bit. Pieces, pieces are missing. Right. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a woolly mammoth's butthole, and everything else is gonna be <laughs> right. That's the only part of the DNA they could, right. they could get. It was they woolly mammoth's dog. Oh well, wow. I wonder if they can incorporate them into humans. <laughs> but back, back on the subject here, so what they're doing is the closest living relative to the woolly mammoth is not the, the African safari elephant, but the Indian elephant. The more you know, the brown one, kind of smaller, they have like pink ears, the ears are kind of flopped down. So with this broken DNA that they have, they're, they're filling it in with the uh, uh, Indian elephant. And so what they're going to do is recreate woolly mammoths or bring it back. pretty crazy. Day. And right now they're doing studies on how it would impact if they're bring to bring it back to Siberia, which that's where they're going to go. So woolly mammoths, right? Okay. So that's, I don't, we, we talked about this a little bit earlier and I don't know near enough about gene splicing. I'm, I'm thinking about the steaks, woolly mammoth steaks. That sounds delicious. It does sound delicious. That actually is what I'm thinking about now <laughs> is how hungry I am and how woolly mammoth would really hit the spot. Look, and if you want to, you can actually have some woolly mammoth today if you want because mm -hmm. the people in the permafrost that find these woolly mammoth carcasses that are intact they actually marinate it in jack daniels delicious and then they eat it trying not to drink <laughs> trying to do this accountability challenge thing yeah, so i'm trying drink. no yeah no drinking so no, that's, don't, uh, don't do that no but it's a, it's kind of a cool so thing. what was this giant butterfly they fucking found in arkansas oh it's, yeah the about. giant dragonfly oh dra okay dragonfly it's a giant lace wing it's called I, like I was saying, they they were around since the prehistoric. So this era. is the first time we've ever found one of these. We found just like a fossil up, no, there, obviously, right? We have found them before, but they're very, very rare to oh, actually okay. find them. So, but when they found them, it was behind a Walmart in Arkansas. They found one gnarly, right? And they're huge. They have a huge span on them. So, like, if you ever see like prehistoric movies and they're always that big dragonfly thing flying around yeah no like, i, I kind of knew the reference right. of what you were saying about it because like you do see that in the prehistoric movies all yeah. the time it's like there's these larger flying insects yeah and you, you yeah you don't see them but they one was recovered recently that sounds crazy like intact like it's huge well